Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and I love Walmart grocery pickup. I wanted to try something different this week and go with online shopping. Now, shopping for groceries online is not something I've ever done before, but I've heard so many people say, oh my gosh, I save so much money from this. I don't impulse buy anymore. I save a lot of money just by shopping online. And I just, just always like, uh, I don't know. I don't ever impulse buy at all. But then I looked at all of my, my receipts and everything and I said, oh. I do impulse buy quite a bit and that's pretty evident especially going to Kroger and Meyer and looking at all their clearance items things I don't always need but I feel like because it's a good deal I need to get it so I thought I would give Walmart grocery pickup a try because why not it's free if you if you spend thirty dollars or more and I also had a coupon code for ten dollars off a fifty dollar purchase I got that from my friend Kristen at Joyfully Thriving and you can find a link to her blog below so she introduced me to the whole Walmart grocery pickup and she inspired me to try it myself so I did I did my entire order online I went and picked it up so why don't I just show you what happened the Walmart grocery page. As you can see over here, I have everything in my cart. I just finished all my grocery shopping. So I've got 43 items in my cart here. I'm just showing you what you can do in order to buy your groceries. If you look up here, I typed in milk. You can type in whatever you're looking for, whether it's milk, yogurt, eggs, crackers. And down here, you can see I bought two gallons of milk. So all you have to do is click add to cart, and it'll add it. As you can see, it's up here. So I have two gallons of milk here, and then you can type in crackers. And you'll be able to see all the different kinds of crackers. What I like about Walmart Grocery it seems like all of the prices are exactly what they are in the store. There are some companies like Aldi that actually raise their prices a little bit. So a box of crackers like this, instead of being $2.17, they would raise it to like $2.25 or $2.30 or something. And that's how they make their profit. But with Walmart, I mean, everything is the same price and you still get free shipping with a $30 minimum right here. So my subtotal is $78.64, so I'm going to check out real quick. I have a $10 off referral code. This is from Kristen from Joyfully Thriving, and I will link her blog below. She also likes using Walmart, so make sure you follow her on Instagram too so you can see all the cool things that she buys. Anyway, I'm going to go check out and I'll let you know how it goes. I'm getting ready to check out and it's letting me review my order before I submit it. This says allow substitutions will include a substitution for any checked item and I've heard that people have seen that before so if they want to buy a large bag of coffee but Walmart is out of the large bag they will offer them two small bags instead for the same price. I'm not sure if that will happen this time but I'm interested to see. Just scroll down all the way. As you can see, I did a promo code, total savings applied, $10. So subtotal $78.64. Pickup fee is free, which is awesome. Promo code $10. All together is $68.95. Now, I also bought pens because John needed them, so my actual grocery total is like $3 less than this, but $68.95 for all those groceries. I'm going to place the order. Okay, so I finished the grocery pickup. I ordered all this stuff on Thursday, and I set it to pick it up on Friday between 2 and 3. It sent me an email confirmation, and all I have to do is wait and pick it up in the afternoon. Okay, so I just checked into Walmart using the app. You're supposed to check in when you're about 10 minutes away or so. So I am heading on my way right now. I need to pull into a designated parking spot and they're supposed to come out with all my groceries. So let's see how it goes. Okay guys, that was so fast. Like I checked in with the app and I pulled into one of the parking spaces and not even five minutes later, somebody came out with a huge cart 
and a couple of baskets full of groceries. Now I thought I would have to bag them myself, but he came out and everything was already bagged. I, all I had to do was sign the little uh, the thing that he had and he helped me load all my groceries into the back of the car and in less than five minutes everything was all packed up. I'm so excited. Now he asked if I was okay with substitutions. I said yes. Um, he didn't say whether there were any. So when we get home I will check things out and see if we have any. I'm okay either way. I'm just happy that I was able to order all these groceries and come in and pick them up. I have to say I am pretty impressed with this Walmart grocery pickup. Let me show you everything that I bought. First of all I got two gallons of milk. I bought some string cheese for Allison's lunches. I bought two different kinds of sliced cheese. I got Colby and Monterey Jack and then some mozzarella. I bought some cookie cutters for Allison for her lunches next week. They're Halloween themed and they're super cute. So I'm going to try and cut this cheese into different shapes and make it really fun for her this week. I bought some feta cheese that's going to go in a recipe. I'm making a, a frittata and that's going to be in it. I bought some block cheese. I'm going to shred that for later, I think. I got some bread for some sandwiches for Allison for lunches. Some honey nut O's for breakfast. I bought these Nature's Bakery fig bars. These are the blueberry kind. I was really hoping they would have the pumpkin spice. I saw that they had it and I was really excited, but Walmart, at least this one, does not carry the pumpkin spice right now. So blueberry it is. Those will go in Allie's lunches. I bought some spinach for the frittata for dinner. I have a zucchini for the frittata, bell pepper for dinner. Now for a small group this weekend, I'm making food for the kids and I'm doing a breakfast. I bought two cans of biscuits and I'm gonna make those. I'm also making a double batch of pancakes. I have some sausages, strawberries, and I bought these cookies here for a dessert. I guess you can have dessert with pancakes. I will. I bought some of these sandwich crackers the peanut butter and cheese. Those will go in Allie's lunches as well. I plan on doing something fun and Halloween-y for those two. I bought some K-Cups, French vanilla brand. I bought some tuna. I'm gonna make a tuna noodle casserole this week. I bought some peanut butter. Now the one thing that I don't like about Walmart is that they don't sell the natural peanut butter. Like they don't have a great value brand that has like just peanuts. Kroger, I think, is better for that, and plus it's a lot cheaper. Kroger, it's $1.79. I think I paid like $2.79 or something for this. And over here I have diced tomatoes I'm going to use, I think, in the frittata. We are out of Dijon mustard. I bought some hot salsa. We prefer the hot rather than the medium that I usually get at Aldi. I bought some sour cream. I have cottage cheese down here for my snacks and breakfast. I bought some Greek vanilla yogurt before a pack. It's a lot cheaper at Walmart actually than Aldi. I'm a little surprised. Along with that, I found this orange cream Greek yogurt. I'm a big fan of like the cream sickle, so I'm excited about that. I have some like thin wheat crackers. I'm gonna put those in Allie's lunch as well. I bought some grapes. I have three packages of strawberries. Some of it's gonna be used for Allie's lunch and then others will be for uh, the breakfast on Sunday. I bought some black beans. I'm gonna use some of it in a recipe for this week. I'm gonna make the black beans in the Instant Pot. In less than an hour, these black beans are fully cooked. Pretty exciting. I bought some broccoli. And they did actually really well with picking out my produce. I usually like to pick out my own. I like to touch it and see whether there's anything wrong with it and try to get the biggest ones imaginable. But they picked out some really good looking produce. The broccoli looks great. The strawberries look amazing. I bought some of these sweet peppers and I've seen people like eat these as snacks and they looked amazing. I wanted to try some. I bought some more apples that I'll eat as snacks and maybe as dessert later. I bought two dozen eggs. Now they did have some substitutions. Now in the bags that they had, they had a green tag on the bag that said substitution so I was able to see what they were replacing for me. I had ordered the Great Value brand whole wheat buns and they must have been out of it so I got the brown berry instead 
and these are a lot bigger. I like the brown berry brand too. And then also I order just regular sausage links and they got me the Vermont maple instead. That's okay. So those are the only two substitutions for this order and I thought I had ordered some cinnamon rolls that I was gonna use for Allison's birthday breakfast. And apparently I didn't put it on the order because it wasn't on there. I will either make something different or buy it. But here's my Walmart grocery order. I went to Mr. Max today and I actually did not go crazy. First thing I picked up was some of this Wilshire oven roasted turkey breast. I gave some to Allison last week. She didn't like it, but I did. So I bought a couple packages for a dollar, just for like sandwiches. I also bought a bag, a box of Nature Valley protein bars. It was a mega pack for $4.25. It's a good variety pack there. I also found a huge box of Sour Patch Gogurt. There's 32 of them in there and it was only $3. So there's no way Allison is going to be able to use all this before it expires. So I'm going to stick them all in the freezer and I've heard it's really good as frozen yogurt. I haven't tried it yet, but it sounds good. And then I bought one of these boxes of Duncan Hines mocha cake chocolate mix. And Allison's birthday is on Tuesday the 22nd. We're having her party the this weekend, but to celebrate her birthday that night, we're just gonna have like one of these to share. That way we don't have a huge cake for the three of us and then another huge cake for the party. That'd be too much cake. Then I found these pretzel burger buns in the freezer for only $1.25 and look at these things. They're huge. I think I'm gonna make like some barbecue chicken, shredded chicken next week. It'll go perfect on these buns. And I found these uh, Garrett Valley turkey snack sticks again. I bought them last week and they were super good. So I bought two of them to last me for the next week or two. And then last but not least, I found a Garrett Valley sugar-free and dewy sausage. They looked really good as well. I usually buy the chicken sausages. I just realized this was not chicken sausage. That's okay. We like our sausages. So I really didn't do too bad this week. I ended up spending, I think, $14, so a pretty good haul. My total after all was said and done from Walmart Grocery Pickup was $69.16, and including Mr. Max, that takes my total up to $83.91 for the week, so I'm a couple dollars under budget, yay! And so I really enjoyed the Walmart Grocery Pickup. If you guys have not done it yet, I highly recommend it. You can find a link in the description to my referral code. If you use it, we will both get $10 off a $50 purchase. All right, let's look over the meal plan for this week. This coming up Sunday, we have small group, and I am in charge of feeding the kids. And I decided to make them breakfast because most kids love breakfast foods. I'm making a double batch of pancakes. I have some sausage links, strawberries, biscuits. I bought a box of cookies for dessert. So they should enjoy that. Maybe I'll have some leftovers that we can eat for breakfast as well. Who knows? It's a huge group of kids. Monday, I'm making a tuna casserole. I have some macaroni in the cupboard that I bought at Aldi a little while ago. It was like a 32 ounce box of macaroni. I don't think I'm gonna use all of it for this one. I'm gonna try to use what I can. Tuesday, I'm making barbecue chicken sandwiches. And I realized I went to Walmart and picked up some hamburger buns. I had just bought some pretzel buns at Mr. Max for just this purpose. So I don't know why I bought the buns. I'll probably use the pretzel buns for something else instead. But with these sandwiches, we're going to have some roasted broccoli to go with it. On Wednesday, I'm using the last of the pork chops that I had bought a little while ago. I'm going to stick them in the slow cooker and just kind of cook them for maybe five or six hours. They're, they have a lot of bones in them. And so it's just easier for me to cook it all in the slow cooker and cut all the meat off. With that, I'm having some quinoa that I have in the pantry and also some frozen veggies. Thursday, I'm making a Greek frittata, and this sounds really amazing. I'm gonna put spinach, zucchini, the can of diced tomatoes, feta cheese. I think that's it. I'm gonna bake it all in the oven. And it's, it, it sounded good, it's something different, not something I make very often. Hopefully the family will like it. 
Friday, I'm making a fajita bowl. I bought a huge bag of black beans. I'm going to cook up some of it in the Instant Pot. And with it, I'm making some rice. I'm using that bell pepper. I'm cutting up an onion that I still have from last week. I have frozen corn. I have salsa. So it's just an easy like ingredient dinner. It's not something that requires a recipe. It's just something that I can throw stuff together and make a dinner with. Those are my favorite kind of dinners. Saturday will be leftovers because that is one of Allison's birthday parties. We're having a party for her friends in the morning. I think we're just going to be too tired to cook that night. So leftovers it is. For breakfast this, this coming up week, we have cereal. I also have some bagels in the freezer from Panera that I'm going to get out. I bought some pumpkin cream cheese last week, I think it was, and I still have a lot left over. I think that'll go good on the bagels with some hard-boiled eggs. And I'm making banana bread baked oatmeal. You can find a link to that and any of the other links to these recipes in the description below as well. Lunch is always leftovers for us because all these dinners serve between 4 and 6, so we have plenty to eat for lunch for the week. And that is it. I am pretty excited for all this. And if you like the meal planner that I was using, you can find a link to that in the description below as well. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get any future updates, whether it's my grocery haul videos, any recipes, what I fed my kindergartner this week. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.